So this is what we got today, folks. All these kind of crusty, kind of dry, uh, well, flowers and bits and pieces. There's a pine cone in here somewhere. There it is. There's the badger. Um, uh, it's kind of like potpourri. Well, it kind of is potpourri, I think. Because <laughs> um, it smells beautiful. Uh, it really does give off a really good aroma. And it's, um, well, I, I assume, yeah, I mean, it's potpourri. <laughs> We have made uh, something using a kind of a Christmassy potpourri before, uh, but this kind of isn't Christmassy. Well, well, I suppose it could be, but it's not really colourful. But I reckon that this is going to look really quite cool inside a little pot of some kind. Um, so I thought we would give that a bash today. Look at this thing. What is that? It's like some kind of little animal. <laughs> All right, let's get some resin mixed up and get this stuffed in. I like it a lot. shape that we've got so far um i wasn't entirely sure as to what shape to go with it kind of just formed itself really but i think i like it actually it's kind of like a mm, an egg <laughs> this looks kind of scary it looks like something from scream What's up? uh so i'm gonna hollow this out now well actually no i'm not i'm gonna sand this off and actually finish the outside. Um, and then I'm gonna hollow it out and then we're gonna put in some kind of a finial in here as well. That will look quite nice. Kind of similar to the piece that we made uh, the other day, but different. 
Right, let's get on. Plan comes together. Well said. Oh yes, that is just with the Yorkshire pudding on. Woohoo! We love it. Right now, for some Yorkshire ice cream. Look at this, folks. Let me get you in closer. Look at this. Doesn't that look really nice? Kind of could be like a paperweight, but I think that would be a bit boring. That's just shining up the outside. Still got to buff this up yet on the wheel, hollow it out, get a finial on it. So we've still got a bit to do, but this is looking nice. Thanks, Yorkshire ice cream. Warning, do not use ice cream on your work. I am a professional. We've got a bit of a spalted oak going on here. Well, uh, this might look quite nice in there. Let's have a look. So, yeah. Hmm. Let's get this on the lab.
there it is. The twig, kind of pine coney, bits and bobby, weird looking pot thing. I kind of enjoyed doing that and I kind of like the shape that that come out. The lid isn't tight fit, but I did that on purpose so that I can get it off easier. Sometimes that does happen. Uh, you know, it's quite, you've got to be quite precise and I must have just gauged it wrong on the gauge. Now actually, I'm going to blame it on the gauge that I used. The gauge was set wrong. Hang on a minute, I set the gauge. Well anyway, it sits there quite nicely and happily. Just don't turn it upside down. I try to get inside as much as I can to sort of polish that up, but it was quite difficult. Um, I haven't really found anything yet that really gets inside there. I obviously put my finger in there a little bit, which is a little bit dangerous. Don't do that at home. Um, you know, to try to sort of clean it up. And um, yeah, it's, it's still a little bit misty in there. I've really tried, I could spend a bit more time on it to try and clean it up. I mean, overall, it's not bad. Um, but you probably could get that a lot clearer um, so that it sort of shines. So you can see in the top there, I've managed to sort of like succeed there. But down below, it's a little bit more misty. Bit of a shame, but it looks all right though. It still shined up pretty well. Um, and yeah, I kind of think that the funkiness of the pot looks kind of cool. La Tigre. Uh, got my emblem in the bottom there as well, which is the, uh, the newer emblems, the Nick Zametti ones. But there it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one, folks, because I did. <laughs> Ollie still's up at the end, obviously. Currently, I'm sunning myself in Javier in Spain. So if you're in the Javier area, which I think is spelt with an X in Spain, well, pop in and say hi. I know Spain is quite a big area. You might not be able to find me. Well, thanks to everyone that's come over and joined the channel, and I do hope that you stick around. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. That really does help build the channel and get more people watching my funky stuff. Please check out all the links in the description below. You can send me some stuff if you want. I've got a PO box. Please head on over and follow me on Instagram. I've got two accounts. One is Nick Zemeni and the other one is my personal one. If you fancy finding out a bit more about me. If you didn't know, I've got a vlogging channel as well, which I kind of, every now and again, I put up a few videos. That's also in the description. It's nothing to do with making stuff though. There's many other links in there that help you out guys. But if you wouldn't mind sharing this video, that would be a massive help. Give us a like and a comment. That would also be pretty nice also. I've got loads of funky projects on my mind. I will be making lots of them. So stick around. Every now and again, I'll put up a Waffle Wednesday as well if you're interested in me talking about stuff. But if not, don't worry. Just head on over every Friday where we'll be making some stuff. Weird things. Well, thanks for joining me, folks. Have a fab weekend, and I'll see you all really soon. Take care.